Good evening, everybody. I'll be your math monkey, and today I'll be teaching you about the math. Today's lesson, lesson 42, in your math workbook, Miss Forrester was so kind enough to teach us. And today, more specifically, we'll be talking about increasing, decreasing, and a constant slope. So, let's get on with the lesson. I'm a penguin. Alrighty, well thank you, Math Monkey, for that generous intro. Oh, no problem, yo, yo, boy. And don't forget me. Well, thank you, Math Penguin. You're welcome. Alright, so this is Lesson 42, where we talk about how to tell whether a graph is increasing, decreasing, or remaining constant. Now, to start with, here you have a line. It goes infinite in both directions, represented by these arrows. You have to know how to read it. You always, when reading a line, you always start from left to right. Now, if anything that goes to the right is going to be positive. Everything that goes to the left is negative. All right. Since you start at the far right of a graph, which would be down here, and then it goes up this way, which, which is a positive increase. All right. So far, positive increase. But from where does it start? Around negative infinity. And then we're going up all the way to positive infinity. Positive infinity only uses the x values. Alright, here we have another example. Remember, you start from the left of the line to the right. Alright, so our left starts up here at, let's see, negative infinity. Not very good drawing these signs. Alright, now it comes down, which is a negative, which is a negative uh, slope, to all the way and comes down to zero. Zero. There. So you get a negative, zoop, negative slope from negative infinity all the way to zero. Then your other side of the graph, right here, has a positive increase, which is from zero all the way up here, which is positive infinity. There you have that one. All right, here we have a parabola getting a bit more complex, getting little curves in there. Now up here, is where we normally start, left to the side, to the left. As you can see, the line comes down from up here, which is negative infinity, all the way to zero. And since it's going down, it's negative. Now the other side of the graph right here, you have it curving up, all the way to infinity. So, zero, right here, curves all the way up to infinity. And you have a positive increase. All right, here we have a bit more difficult problem, but still the same concept to heart. All right, so we start down here, negative infinity, and we go all the way up to four. Remember, you're only using the x value. One, two, three, four, right here. It's a little off, my graph is, but it's all right use this whole line is 4 right here. So you have a positive increase from negative infinity to negative 4. Now as you see right here from negative 4 all the way to positive 2 there is no increase. So we write exactly that. There is no increase from point negative 4 all the way to positive 2. Right, and then right here we can see the graph going up again, starting at point 2, going positive slope all the way to infinity. There you go. All right, here we have a conjumbled mess, but still easy. You just got to follow the simple steps that we've taught you. All right, again, start down here, negative infinity. Go up here, so we're showing a positive increase. We've got a positive increase from negative infinity all the way to one, two, three, four. Four. And then from neg negative four. It's a negative. Almost messed up. Right. And from negative four, we're going to go down. So we're going to show a negative increase starting at negative four, all the way down here to positive three. One, two, three. Then Starting at positive three, we're going to show more positive, a positive increase. Starting at point three, 
which is right here. And we're going to go all the way up to infinity. There you are. Simple. The end!